Well, here we are another day into the coronavirus isolation. I thought I'd talk about it a little bit. This is kind of like the second in a, a series of I don't know how many. Um, we'll see how this goes. Hi, I'm Arnie, and here we talk travel, <laughs> uh, camera gear, accessories. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. So yeah, here we are at home, not doing much in the way of reviews either, trying to think of ways to keep the channel going and hopefully keep you Oh, I don't know, entertained, informed, what term you want to use. Um, obviously, right now, I'm wa out washing my car. At, not that I wouldn't do that otherwise, but... <laughs> we do a lot of... We do a lot of walking, even on our, you know, on our trips, and so we, we do a lot of walking around here, too. And one of the things I've noticed in the last couple of days, or that we've noticed in the last couple of days, is the number of people that we see out walking. They have, you know, their people are not working, kids aren't at school, you got to do something with your time, and... Uh, People are, people are out there walking, and hopefully that'll, <laughs> that'll be a good thing in the long run. Maybe make people a little more fit. That seems silly to say in these, these particular times with everything that's going on. I think about our last trip we were down in Palm Springs and we just I mean that was in February it's hard to believe it was just you know a couple of weeks ago and nobody was kind of talking about this at least not here you know people knew things were happening in China but never expected things to go this far south and Aside from the virus itself, the loss of income is, there's just so many things that are up in the air and frightening right now. I mean, We're, we're retired and we live off of the income from our retirement funds. And as you know, probably know, those are being decimated. So kind of wonder what the heck you're gonna do to keep going. So it's not just people who are being laid off, it's all of us wondering what's going to come next and you talk to people who are supposedly in the know and they don't really know either what's going on how long it's going to go on What are you doing to fill your time? Because most of us now are locked down, except for those people who are in denial that this isn't really happening, that it's all some kind of hoax perpetrated by the liberal media. No, I'm not going to turn this into a political diatribe, but it, uh, it's just, just amazing. Uh, how many people are carrying on 
like there's nothing going on. And, uh, well, we know that there is, don't we? I don't know what I hope to accomplish by this video, to be honest with you. It's not like I have any answers. Any more than anybody else, I guess it's more about connecting and letting everybody else, those people who do watch our videos, know that, you know, you're not alone and hopefully that gives some kind of solace. And hopefully we'll have some from this I don't want to say soon but in the not future and the federal leaders actually get their act together I was going to say shit together but YouTube might block that out Maybe I'll block that out. Anyway, washing the car. Trying to keep my mind off of things. Sharing with you. Keep our spirits up. That's all we can do as best we can. Yesterday I, I posted a video, which I'll link, I think it'll be up in this corner, um, about my first attempt at sewing face masks for, for medical people. No, they're not the N95 super duper face mask, but uh, as some nurses have said um, it's better than nothing. But right now, in some cases, they have what might be considered worse than nothing. Having to reuse paper masks and everything over again. At least this way, they'll have something that they can use. And if it's one, one of these masks, isn't enough, they can always double it up, as one nurse said. Jody pasted it um, on her Facebook page, what we had done and everything. And, uh, oh, there's a big running argument about it. Some people are saying, blah, 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 it's not used. A couple of nurses have come on and said exactly the fact that, hey, it's better than nothing. We can use all the help we can get. So, again, check that video up in the cards. And uh, if you're interested in, because I did a video on me trying to do it, and I've never sewed in my life. Um, and I, I have a template for how to make the, the uh, face mask. You might find it interesting. Well, that's about all, all I have. I'm, I'm kind of rambling at this point. Take care of yourselves and uh, hope to see you again in the next one. Who knows what that will be. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Appreciate it.